Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, this CZ SP101 is brought to you by Butler's Jewelry and Loan in Far City, North Carolina. This gun and the ammo was provided by them to bring this review to you. So stay tuned and let's see how it works. All right, guys, here go some of the specs of the CZ75 SP01 here. It has a steel frame, upper and lower. The grips here is aluminum. It has nice check checkering on the back main housing here and on the, on the front also. You have a light rail on the front of the gun. You have a nice skeletonized hammer, as you can see here. It has nice target sights. These are blacked out on the rear and the front is fiber optic. This is what it looks like in the front of the gun here. You have ambidextrous safeties on both sides. Your slide release is only on one side. Your mag release here is only on one side. But let's take a couple of shots with this gun and let's see if it lives up to everything that I've heard. All right, guys, now we're going to take a couple of shots with the SP-101. I'm actually going to start it in double action here. Man, this gun really shoots very well, guys. What's up? This is a uh, buddy's letting me shoot this out. Seems pretty cool. It's got a good feel to it. I'm a big fan of CZs. I carry one myself. And uh, let's, kind of, let's see how it does. Not bad. Shoots about like I'd expect. Perfect. Let's try a couple of shots in double action here, guys. I mean, that recoil, I mean, that trigger on that double action is amazing. Right now, guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a couple of shots with the gun. But it's going to be more of the gun itself where you can see how the recoil is with the CZ here. Let's take a couple shots. As you can see, there is a little bit of recoil with this firearm, but I think if you put a light out front, that it would definitely help mitigate a lot of that felt recoil.
I mean, guys, as you can see, this CZ SP01 is shot great. I had no malfunctions out of this gun today. It shot very well. The only thing that I would critique on this gun is I would like to have a red dot optic, be able to mount a red dot to this particular firearm. But besides that, I mean, this gun shot great, guys. The double action trigger was great. The single action trigger was great. It was very light, easy to manipulate the slide with the front serrations here and the ones on the rear. The grips, as far as being aluminum, it sort of has like a, as you can see, a real nice pattern to it, which it really didn't hurt my hand. I mean, it, it felt great to shoot. It wasn't no high spots. It was very, very nice. But the fiber optic was very great. It was easy to pick up, easy to shoot. You know, only bad part, well, it really ain't a bad part, but the, the whole thing about the six o'clock hole, the further you get out, it's almost something you just gotta get used to, which it wasn't, I wouldn't say it's a negative. It's just something that you sort of gotta get used to compared to other firearms. But mate, but if you like what you've seen here today, make sure to subscribe to the channel Follow me on Instagram. There'll be more videos on the way, guys. Peace.